हेलो गाइस माय नेम इज रवि अंगवार एंड यू आर वाचिंग इंजीनियरिंग थर्मोडायनेमिक स्टूडियो इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव ब्रीफली डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वेपर कंप्रेशन रेफ्रिजरेशन सिस्टम एंड वेपर एब्जॉर्प्शन रेफ्रिजरेशन सिस्टम इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल बी टीचिंग स्टीम जेट रेफ्रिजरेशन सिस्टम व्हिच कवर्स द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स लाइक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द सिस्टम वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द सिस्टम मेन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द सिस्टम एंड वर्किंग ऑफ द सिस्टम सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द सिस्टम See in your steam jet refrigeration system is one of the oldest method of producing refrigerating effect or cooling effect in this type of system we use water as a refrigerant the limitation of the system is it cannot be used for the services or applications where the temperature requirement is below 0 degree celsius or 32 degree fahrenheit before i explain the working principle of the system let us understand the third law of refrigeration it says the temperature at which your liquid boils or evaporates it directly depends upon the pressure to which it is subjected to the gist of your third law of refrigeration is your boiling point directly depends upon your pressure it means if you reduce your pressure your boiling point will reduce if you increase the pressure your boiling point will increase that you can see in your second point which says your water can boil at following pressures and temperatures when the pressure is 0.06 bar it is vacuum pressure the water can boil at 2 degree celsius when the pressure is atmospheric pressure that is 1 bar the water can boil at 100 degree celsius if you increase the pressure to 2 bar the water is can boil at 120 degree celsius the main components of the system are flash chamber or evaporator steam nozzle steam ejector and condenser now i'll explain the function of each component In this type of system flash chamber is a large vessel in which your refrigerant is filled and refrigerant is nothing but your water steam nozzle steam nozzle in which the steam is supplied by the boiler at higher pressure and that high pressure steam is expanded in the nozzle which converts the thermal energy of the steam into kinetic energy of the steam now steam ejector steam ejector is a pumping device which extract your gas or vapor from the system or the desired vessel condenser is nothing but a shell and tube type heat exchanger in which your inside the tubes your water is flowing and outside the tube a refrigerant is flowing in this system refrigerant is nothing but your water now i'll explain the function of your steam ejector how it works an ejector is a pumping device which is used to extract the gas or vapor from the desired vessel or system the good advantage of the steam ejector is it has no moving parts the motive fluid which we use in this system is steam that is why this device is known as steam ejector the main components of steam ejector are steam chest steam nozzle and diffuser now what happens when the high pressure steam from the boiler is entered inside the nozzle the steam will expand inside the nozzle due to which low pressure and high velocity steam is generated at the exit of the nozzle due to this low pressure your water vapor will be sucked from your flash chamber now at the throat there will be a mixture of high velocity steam and your low pressure water vapor now at the throat there will be a mix this mixture will be compressed and due to this compression the temperature as well as pressure of that mixture your high velocity steam and a low pressure water vapor will get increased and this is the function of your ejector now this is your diagram of your system which shows your all components which i have explained in my previous slides now see your flash chamber is shown in the diagram in which your refrigerant is filled inside it and it is fitted with perforated pipes where the water is sprayed now there is a steam ejector in which the steam is sent from the boiler to the steam nozzle inside the nozzle your steam is expanded due to which your low pressure and your high velocity steam is generated at the exit of the nozzle so due to this low pressure the water vapor will be extracted from the flash chamber now at the ejector at the throat your there will be a mixture of your high velocity steam and low pressure water vapor now your compression will take place due to which the temperature as well as pressure of the mixture of your high velocity steam and low 
प्रेशर वाटर वेपर विल इंक्रीज एंड दैट मिक्सर विल बी सेंट टू द कंडेंसर एंड इन साइड द कंडेंसर योर कंडेंसेशन विल टेक प्लेस एंड इट विल अगेन कन्वर्ट इन टू योर वाटर नाउ इन साइड योर फ्लैश चैम्बर योर लो प्रेशर वाटर वेपर इज बीन एक्सट्रैक्टेड नाउ वैक्यूम विल बी जनरेटेड इन साइड योर फ्लैश चैम्बर और इवेपोरेटर नाउ वॉम वाटर इज सेंट टू द फ्लैश चैम्बर और इवेपोरेटर विद द हेल्प ऑफ योर चिल वाटर पम्प As soon as the water is sprayed inside the chamber, the boiling point of the water will get reduced because the vacuum is created inside the chamber. Now, some water which has been sprayed will absorb the latent heat of vaporization from the water which is there inside the chamber, and it will get evaporate. Then water vapors will get created. Now, due to this, what will happen? Your water, your water which is present inside the chamber, the temperature of that water will get decrease and that will be your 0 degree celsius now at the outlet of your flash chamber you will be getting your cold water it means chilled water you will be getting now this chilled water can be pumped to the refrigerated space with the help of your pump after cooling after cooling the refrigerated space your water and the temperature of the water will get increase now this warm water will be sent to your flash chamber again and this cycle repeats this was your working of your system you can see the refrigerant which is used is water this system cannot be used for services where temperature requirement is below 0 degree celsius or 32 degree fahrenheit and this plant consists of a flash chamber in which a high vacuum of 29.7 inches is maintained by means of a steam ejector your warm water is sprayed in the vacuumized flash chamber with the help of a chill water pump As soon as the water is sprayed in the vacuum the boiling point of the water drops some water evaporates absorbing the latent heat from the remaining water in the flash chamber now due to which your temperature of the water which is there in the flash chamber will get falls or lowered now this chill water is circulated through the refrigerated space for cooling the air after cooling the air the water temperature rises and again this water is sprayed in the flash chamber this is how you achieve a refrigeration effect in this type of system with this i end my presentation in the next lecture i'll be teaching the air refrigeration system which is a very important refrigeration system which is been used nowadays in your aircraft systems thank you so much